Amazon has a ton of new developments and benefits that might help the stock get bullish momentum, making investors happy. So sit tight as we discuss their recent moves and future plans as well as a chart analysis and price prediction. But before we do that, subscribe to our channel Stocks 101 for regular stock market updates. First up, Amazon has acquired Vico, a shipping solution which helps sellers reduce shipping costs while improving order fulfillment speed. Now sellers can utilize it to connect to shipping portals such as FedEx and get the best rates for shipping. There's a new FBA dashboard as well aimed at providing a performance summary for businesses that use the Fulfilled by Amazon service. Another development to benefit sellers is the new fast-tracked payment gateway where Amazon will send the sellers their money within 24 hours. Apart from that, construction of their new warehouses in Spain has been suspended until 2024 and they didn't comment much about the reasons. Jeff and company have also acquired a company named Kloostermans. It's a machine manufacturing company in Belgium that Amazon has been working with since 2019. With all that in mind, let's jump straight into the chart. So as you guys can see right here, we are now in the one day chart for Amazon and as always, we'll first analyze the one day time frame, then the one hour chart and then to end it off, we'll get into the five minute chart. So the first thing that I want to show you guys is this right here on 13th September was the day that the entire Nasdaq fell and obviously Amazon being a huge part of Nasdaq fell as well. But what happened after that is what's really interesting. As you guys can see, there was a support over here around $124 and that has turned into a resistance here. As you guys can see, our current candle is having, you know, just trouble trying to cross the $123.94 level. And as you guys can see, it's hitting the $124 level. It might be a bullish day today. But as you guys can see, this was a massive gap up over here for Amazon after the earnings report. And after that, as you guys can see, we're now back to the previous levels that we were struggling at. We were in a bullish trend still if we look at the bigger picture, right? So as you guys can see, let me get a trend line real quick. We were pretty much in a bullish trend. But we did suffer a lot around this time after the 2022 fall. And I believe that that will pretty much be sorted now. And once that is sorted, I believe that the stock will definitely hit these levels by the end of this year slowly climbing back its way up towards the 170 dollar level and once that is done that would be probably the yearly target from most analysts and that would probably happen like in next september or somewhere around that so if we were to talk about some more resistance levels and support levels as you guys can see we get did get supported over here wait let me just adjust this real quick we did get supported over here at this level around 121 dollars and we got the same support over here on this was 15, uh, 16 september as you guys can see and now i believe that once we cross this 124 dollar resistance we'll probably get back into this range of course that will happen and after that the next resistance would be somewhere around here as you guys can see we struggled to break through that and the same point acted as a support over here on 23rd august the next resistance would be around here this 137 136.5 dollar zone as you guys can see it acted as a resistance over here over here and over here as well before we fell on 30th september so firstly amazon being a fundamentally strong company i don't believe that recovering from this fall would be difficult for it so i personally am very bullish on it long term so even if we get a pullback further down from here i believe that the stock will still recover and it's in pretty much a buying phase right now if we were to talk about September, I believe that it won't reclaim the $130 zone in September itself, but it will definitely break this resistance. And once that is done, we'll probably have it around in this range. After that, as you guys already know, $130 $30 is a psychological resistance over here. And once we break that, again, we'll hover around, get a pullback, maybe retest the support, go up. And once that is done, we'll probably hit this $130, $136 zone by October end, I would say. So that would bring our levels to, let's see over here, about a $140 price target for the end of this year, right? Somewhere around here, $140, let's say $142, for example, all right? And the one-year target would be obviously somewhere around here, around the $170 range, right? So let me mark that real quick. But now if we were to talk about a bearish scenario, right, this probably won't happen in my opinion, but I believe the lowest that we could go would probably be around $112, $110. With that being said, let's move on into the one hour chart to analyze some swing trades. As you guys can see right here, we're now in the one hour chart and we can see a bit more detail over here. As you guys can see, we were in a perfect bearish trend over here, 
right we did make lower highs we did make lower lows but now things seem to be changing a bit right as you guys can see obviously we opened in a gap down so this accumulation was pretty much um necessary on 16th september but after that again we opened up in a gap down and after that we're currently struggling to hit the 124 dollar range right but once we do that i believe that we might do that today right so we'll probably be in the 124 125 dollar range but then again there is a resistance over here in the hourly chart at 125.5 dollars right we made a double top double bottom over here and if we talk about another resistance it would probably be somewhere around here around 128 dollars i guess right as you guys can see we did struggle to break that level and we did fall down after touching the 130 dollar level if you ask me what's going to happen today on the hourly chart i believe that first we might get a pullback after getting another green candle of course that's one sign that's required for a bullish trend right we need to get healthy pullbacks but as long as we stay above this level that we made over here at let me mark that 121.8 dollars we should be good but now i believe that there is not much left in the one hour chart to analyze so let's quickly move into the five minute chart so now that we are in the five minute chart you guys can see that we got somewhat of a perfect i won't say a perfect a constant bullish support over here but then we hit a double top over here at 124.4 dollars and after that as you guys can see obviously a double top is a bearish sign we went down right after hitting that resistance level and after that we made a lower high over here at 124.14 dollars and again we're going down so i believe that as i already told you guys in the early chart that we'll get some more red candles over here we go down a bit before going up finally and maybe retesting this resistance level and i believe we might break it today but let's see what happens if we look at the past candles a bit right on 16th september we can clearly see that we started off with a gap down a pretty huge gap down after that some bearish movement and then we pretty much recovered throughout the day people were accumulating the stock but as you guys can see we could not carry that same trend into the next day we opened a gap down from that right we did carry on the trend from the one day chart but not from the five minute chart and this is particularly why i believe that you should always analyze all of these charts right don't only analyze the one day or the one hour or the five minute chart analyze all of these charts before you get to a conclusion so now before you ask me this is my conclusion that i believe that the amazon stock is bearish in the short term right i believe it will hit probably the 120 dollar before going up but it will eventually recover because as you guys already know that amazon is very strong fundamentally and financially as well and obviously it's pretty much the best or rather the most addictive i'd say convenience based service in the world so this takes us to the conclusion should i buy or rather am i buying the amazon stock if i were in your place probably i would buy the stock at this price but then again remember that this is just my own opinion and i could be wrong so this is definitely not financial advice if you enjoyed my analysis however be sure to hit the like button if you did not enjoy it be sure to hit the dislike button subscribe to our channel stocks 101 for more such videos and as always i will see you guys in the next one